Tributes for Sandra Day O'Connor, the first woman appointed to the U.S. Supreme Court. It was President Ronald Reagan who nominated the rancher's daughter and self-described Arizona cowgirl to the nation's highest court in 1981. She is truly a person for all seasons, possessing those unique qualities of temperament, fairness, intellectual capacity, and devotion to the public good. She was just 16 when she left home to attend Stanford University. After excelling in her law school class, she told George Stephanopoulos that she could only get a job as a legal secretary. You graduated the top of your class in law school and can't get a job. Not as even a an interview. Not even an interview. Much less a job. Isn't that amazing? Yeah, well, times changed, but that was at a time in the middle of the last century when women weren't hired as lawyers. But O'Connor persevered, eventually serving as a district attorney, state senator, and a judge. Her Supreme Court appointment inspired generations of women. I've often said it's wonderful to be the first to do something, but I didn't want to be the last. If I didn't do a good job, it might have been the last. O'Connor served 24 years on the highest court in the land, writing more than 600 opinions, casting decisive votes on landmark cases involving affirmative action, abortion, and religion. She retired from the bench in 2006 to care for her husband, who had developed Alzheimer's. In 2018, O'Connor announced that she, too, had been diagnosed with dementia. Sandra Day O'Connor died Friday. She was 93. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.